Hey guys, Kluka V here, and this is going to my going to be my full rundown on how I make my channel and all the details and all the other important informations like the recording system, how I edit them, and yeah, that's basically it. So let's get on to it and cue the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, Kuka V here again. And so first, open up your favorite uh, browsing web uh browser thingy. Uh, might it be Internet Explorer, Safari, Microsoft Edge, or Chrome, or Firefox, or any of one of any one of those. So now what you gotta do is you go to Gmail. And you might see a black screen here, except for the cool V. V is cool gmail.com because the other two are my private emails. So let's add account. That is also going to be blacked out. So after I delete, it's not going to be blacked out. So yeah. So on the bottom, it says create account. Click on create account. And yeah. So this is for your YouTube account and to separate your YouTube account and your like personal uh, uh personal Gmail because you do need a Gmail for YouTube. So this is just a test one. So test a uh, YouTube. Uh, choose your username. Uh, let's just do this. That was from last time when I tried, but it was taken some reason. So yeah. So password. Uh. I'm not gonna tell this because just for private reasons for this email, even though I'm not gonna use it. Oh boy, that's the wrong password. I don't know. Should I do it as usual? You know what? I'm just gonna do something different from every other one of my website. Are there any other one of my emails? There's just random letters and stuff. So let's go to January first, nineteen ninety nine, or any one of your. Uh, 1999. Oh, uh, oopsies. 1999. Let's try again. And gender, female, other. I am nor female nor male. Mobile phone. You don't need it, but if you want to, you put it in. Uh, current email address. This is gonna be blacked out just for wait. Not yet. Now it's gonna be blacked out just for purposes. And yeah. So right here it says. Type the text. I cannot see it. Let's reverse. Okay, that says 440. And you can skip the verification if you do not put your, if you do put your mobile phone. I didn't. I do not want to show my phone. That is why. Location. You have these locations to choose from where your country is. And then let, agree and next. So I am this email. And let's go to continue to Gmail. Uh, it's loading. Let it load. Let it uh, load. I was just checking if my recording is still on, and it still is. Let's save my password, because why not? Welcome to Gmail test. Uh, Andy from Google is my first. I think that is the first email from any, every Gmail you make. Who knows? I think it is. So then you could just go here. You can go to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube and then uh, you go to sign in and again these are gone oh oh it's signed in okay no it's not signed in okay so as again all these are going to be blocked off except for Kulka V and test YouTube so let's go to test YouTube oh geez what was my password I'll be right back Hey guys, I'm back and I do, I look at my footage on my keyboard camera and on my face uh, just in case this would happen. And yeah, so my password was from the footage. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? It was right. Yay. Okay. So then you go to my channel and it says this. So you need to uh, clear out everything here. And then in your first name a box, write the name of your YouTube account. So let's do 
big, a uh, big, um, um, ugly bunny ears. Forgive my spelling. Oh wait, bunny ears. <laughs> okay, and then it says create channel last name. Uh, let's do. Uh, so. Uh, test. I don't care. So. This is your YouTube account. And if you, if you do not want the test or whatever your second word is going to be, mine was cool Kavi, so I could just put cool in the first block, Kavi in the second. You can go here to settings, advanced settings, and change your name, edit. You scroll down, you can take it out. And press OK. Change your name. And OK. So it's changed now. And now you can go to YouTube. You can go back to my channel. And that's your name. So now what you gotta do is you gotta add channel art. So let's click on add channel art. And you click on how to create channel art. Because we don't know how to create a channel art. But I do. But you don't. So let's see. You scroll down. And so this is the page you come to. You scroll down until you see image guidelines for channel art. It says on the bottom, if you're not sure about the width and link, height of a limit, download or channel art templates. So let's click on that and let it download. I will see you when this is, oh no, it is downloaded. Oh, it doesn't take that long, I suppose. So then drag it to your desktop. I do have WinRAR on my computer, so I have to double click and take the, take the highest, I think. I, I think it's this one, the picture one. It's a, there's a picture thingy. Yeah, Firebrook. It should say Firebrook.png. And this one says Photoshop. You do the Firebrook one. You drag it to your desktop. And there it is. It should look like this. If it does not look like this, you had the wrong one. And choose another one. So let's X out. And then the two websites that I used every single time to make my thumbnails and to make my channel art. I always use pick a monkey and if I want some cool text I go to cool text okay so let me make this big screen again so you go to edit I mean you go to the design and you go to square no, no, no sorry 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 let's go back you go to edit, and then you go to, com okay, you can just go to edit then. And you go to the channel art template firework. Double click on it. This should pop up. Then let's go to the magical wand thingy. It should be effects, yes. And scroll all the way down. Then scroll a little bit up. It, you can see it says advanced, and then artsy. Underneath artsy, it says mirror draw. Click on draw. After you click on draw, Make your brush size 600 or maximum. Make sure this color is white. And then just make everything white. Just the whole thing. Make it white. And then you can go to logo thingy. And which one do I want? Uh, let's do this one. Because I, I think it looks cool. So what was my... It was a big... Ugly. So big... Ugly, what was it? Bunny ears. Bunny ears. And I am going to make the text smaller because this name is huge. Sorry for the background noise. So, yeah, make it to whatever, make it what size you think is best. Then you go to create logo. Download image. Should be the bottom one. Drag it to your desktop. Go back to Pick Monkey, and then on the right, you will see a thing that looks like a butterfly. Click on this magical butterfly, which is overlays, uh, and make sure to apply the artsy thingy. And overlays, click on your own, and then it's right here. So click on, double click on that, and then you could change it to. You can change the color. I personally like blue and purple so 
I'm just gonna do, you know what I'm just gonna do the rainbow one but you can change your color to anything whatever you would like I'm gonna choose that color and you can make it big just like my name very big so you can scale it to the middle and there it is now you can go to uh, go to Google images and then let's search up cool back ground spell get background wrong but now uh, make sure this isn't copyrighted the picture you choose so what I do to make sure always 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 what I do is I go to search tool uh, usage rights and then labeled for reuse because these you can reuse over and over again it's not it's not copyrighted but some of the other ones uh, like these are copyrighted and are not copyrighted if you want to know if you want to see you just click on it and then go to their website and see if it's copyrighted or not but for me I am too lazy to do that so I do labeled for reuse bring that page to the whoops uh, bring the picture to our desktop go to pick monkey and on the bottom you will see like this texture thingy click on your own open my texture and where is it? it's right here so it says that and let's open it so this is my background it can also add more pictures like mine craft sword and label for you use let's just choose this one uh, let's copy and replace and let's go back to pick monkey open a, go to butterfly because it's your overlay make sure to apply your background or texture click on your own overlay and click on that so now um, yeah that's basically it if you want this to show up so control C control V this is up and then press control X or right click and delete overlay so now this is on the top I like this it looks pretty cool yeah it does now you go to you press on save then you go to the biggest if you want it to be like good quality you click on the SEAN or Sean or these are names but I Sean for however it is it's higher resolution but it is also a large file see this is 1.1 megabytes or MBs I don't know if you go to Pierce it's 433 KB and then if you go to Roger it's like one 332 KB so I would like to do the highest one because my computer is big I mean my computer is like strong and uh, has two I think I don't know how much uh, room but a lot file name let's name it test or twist and masterpiece said go to here select a photo from your computer and twist so this is how it looks like on desktop on the TV and on mobile and you can adjust it however you'd like and but I like it how it was so yeah that's basically it you can auto enhance it which I like to do because it looks a little bit better like that and then you can go to save where is save I mean select so now it's saving and it's saved so this is your name now you want to change your channel icon how to do that is you go here or any other thing and then you have to let's go back to pick monkey so I have saved it so I can leave you go to design and when you just click on design it should be a square as always but if it's not you can go to crop and you can make it a square so that's basically it I'm gonna change my canvas color to transparent and then I'm gonna go here and search up anything like of my anything that I want to be my icon right here so since I'm a big ugly bunny here, I'm gonna do bunny ears. Bunny ears. So uh, this is uh, this is gonna be my thingy, my icon. Let's go to pick monkey. 
Well, no, no, let's not go to PicBunky. If you want to be, like, more designed, like, how I did mine, mine's, like, a K and another K with a bunch of colors, you can go to text, I'm not text, you can go to canvas color, not to canvas color, where was it? Let's just apply. Uh, yeah, you can go to the butterfly, not butterfly, you can go to the magical wand, sorry, sorry, I, this has been so long for me. You can go to the magical wand, and then you can go to artsy and draw, and then when you click on draw, I just did this random stuff. I chose random colors, and I just drew like that to make my thingy with a K and a K in the middle, generated from a cool text, and my two things I used, my uh, icon was club and my... What is this? Channel art was gunmetal. I think. And yeah. So that's how you make your channel art and icon. I do not need these pages anymore, so I'm going to X out. I'm going to go here, press edit. And no, not this one. Oopsies. I did not mean for. T oh, looks pretty good. You can keep this like this, like your other thing, but. I am a big bunny ear, so upload photo, where is it, where's my bunny ears, right here, and this is how people will look at me, this is my channel icon, press done, and yep, that's my channel icon, let's X out, let's refresh this page, again, did I forget to save, I think I forgot to save, let's go back to edit, uh, press done. Oh, I think we have to refresh like this. No. X out. Go to YouTube. What am I doing wrong? This shouldn't happen. Okay, but this is how it's supposed to happen. And let's try it again. Okay, but that this is not supposed to happen. I think it will render up or save, but this looks pretty cool, so I'm just going to keep it like this. Now what you got to do is you need a recording system for anything. So first, I'm going to go over the uh, Windows, Linux, Windows, Linux, or every other, like, every other thing. So every other operating system that is popular, so... What I use is I use OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Let's go to OBS, and how long has this been? It's been 17 minutes. Okay, I can live with that. And then you could go to U Windows, Mac, or Linux. I don't prefer Mac because it does use 21 CPU usage. It does use your CPU for uh, downloading, I mean, recording the videos, and I don't think that's a good thing. So, yeah, on your Mac, and it uses 21%. Without recording, that's just starting uh, starting OBS up. But when you start recording, it takes like forty or fifty percent of your CPU, and that is not good for your Mac. Your Mac will die a little bit; it will die instantly. Like I don't know how long, but it it is bad. You can donate here, come in chat, download for them, and help all this. But I don't need any of that. So let's go to Windows, and I will see you when this is done downloading. Hey guys, I'm back, and it's done downloading, so we click on it, and uh, should be working. Should be working. Yeah, it's done. So, uh, yes. Next, I agree, and install. Oh yeah, I cannot do it abort because I've already done it once. And I cannot do it again, so here's my OBS. It will, when you install, it will show install, and then you have to, I agree, you have to agree to the terms and conditions of OBS, and then it also say, and then you go through an install, installation wizard, and then just click on, like, whatever everything is, like, other, the, other stuff. And that's OBS, and let's go to OBS right now. Right, uh, I can open up two OBSs, I think. Open, oopsies. Open. Yep. 
see uh, already this is using 30 CPU and my other one is using 3.4 CPU so together it's like 33 CPU and in Mac it uses like 50 CPU and it, and I really dislike that so what you do here is that these are my settings and another thing is here is my um my like computer hey guys i just decided to black out the whole entire thing in the next part so yeah that's basically it that's all i wanted to tell you and keep on enjoying the video goodbye where is it oh it's right here so system the manufacturer's cyber cyber power pc processor is that Installed memory RAM is 16 GB system type and pen touch there is none. So this is my settings and yeah I think I can go back to settings and here are more in depth things so uh, I don't think the product ID is going to do anything but just in case I am going to black that out and some other stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. If I black, if I happen to black out the whole entire screen, then I will show it in the like description below or on the screen here somewhere. So yeah, let's X out. <clears throat> so let's go to settings right here, and I like it on a uh, dark theme. And there is a language you can choose your language. I am English, so I choose English. And these are my uh, things. My Settings I prefer prefer on general stream these this is my stream key never tell your stream key to anyone because they can stream without you knowing and so this is my you don't need you need you don't need to know much about this so yeah output advanced and let's go to recording so when you're recording your type is standard your recording path is this so what I did is I made oh my gosh this is awesome. See right where my mouse is, right here in the uh, OBS, OBS. You can see OBS inside of OBS, inside of OBS, inside of OBS. That, that is awesome. If anyone can zoom in into the... If anyone can zoom in into that, then that will be awesome and yeah. So, what I did is that I made a new folder on your thingy and yeah. So that's basically it, and then I get I went to browse, and then I chose my desktop, and I chose my thing that I wanted. So yeah, so encoder you use stream encoder and not two six four because that uses more CPU. Recording format is MP4. Audio track I have one audio thingy, so yeah, and that's basically it. Let's go to audio. Audio bitrate. Put everything on max because. Audio bitrate won't do anything. It's just going to increase your volume. Like right here. This is how loud I am speaking right now currently. And in streaming, put encoder for time 64 because you'll be recording and streaming. So you will be needing more CPU or else your stream will be in poor quality. So then uh, you can rescale output. This is my like normal output thingy rate control cbr bit rate i put mine 45,000 because i have a beefy computer or desktop very fast if you do higher it's less cpu but i kept it on very fast because i do want some cpu uh so my video recording will be a little bit better in quality and that's basically it here audio put it on 48 uh K or khz's i have one speaker uh, and these are the other things, but I do not worry about them because I only have one speaker. The video, this is my video. I can this put your frame rates on max if you have a beefy computer. If you don't, put it on 30. Because these are just, these don't make a difference. 40 and 50, 48 does, but 59 doesn't. And 20 does, and 29 doesn't. Just 10, 20, 30, 48, 60. Those are the two, those are the four main ones that make a difference. These are hotkeys, so stop and start recording for me are F10 and that, but I use nothing else. Advanced, these are just your advanced things. You can pause it here to make sure you have the exact same things, and what the heck was that? I don't know, but also in the recording thing right here, it would. I think it does say minutes, days, hours, and months, and on the side it says years. I don't do years. Yeah, it says right here. Uh, if I hold long enough, right here. 
on the side it says uh, percent C C E uh, Y Y. It's a zero and four digits of the year, and that, that's basically it. So let me just press OK with all this, and this is OBS. Uh, let's go to now. What we gotta do is we need a video, and for this, and I do have a video right here. So this is my intro that I made for this video, and this is the current recording video. I also have a Skywards video that I have edited on my Mac, but if you do not have an editing software on your Mac, I prefer on uh, I prefer Light works lightworks is free for like a few months i think a month and i it was amazing and what you need to do is you sign in and what i did was when i started my youtube channel like three four years ago and my other youtube channel it's it was horrible don't check it out but i will put the link in the description of it it was um what was it what was it I made an email, I used Lightworks, I made another email, I did Lightworks, I signed up for Lightworks again, and kept on doing it. So I basically had free Lightworks, but I did not have like the pro, anything like the pro version of anything. So that's basically it. Right now I'm doing it with Camtasia Studio 8, but I don't think, I don't think it's working with Camtasia Studio 8. But I believe there are some like hacks, but do not search for hacks, they are bad. The hacking is bad. And I believe that they will shut down your YouTube channel if they, you do hack. But do not hack. Trust me, it is bad. And yeah, that's basically it. Now, I need to... Now, this is how you edit your stuff from uh, Lightworks and Camtasia. That's, this is what I'm using right now for the past month. It hasn't been a month yet. So yeah, that's basically it. So for you Mac users... Let's get on to Mac. Boy, no, no, no. Before we get on to Mac, uh, sorry for the low volume, and I have no idea where I put it. So I do have a flash drive, and I usually do edit on iMovie, if it's 15 minutes or less, because it loads faster on iMovie. If it's 15 minutes or more, then I use Camtasia. But what I do is I put a flash drive into my computer, plug it in, and I drag this into the flash drive. I let it load. When it's done loading, I take the flash drive out, I plug it into my Mac, and then I put it on my desktop and then edit it on iMovie. So let's see an edit thing that I recently did on my Mac. But before we do that, you need to know how I record on my Mac, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 